I don't know if you guys can hear the birds and all that stuff going on, but I am outside once again because my room just gets so dark and the lighting is a mess and I just don't want to deal with it today. <laughs> Anyways, so if you follow my Instagram, you know that I have a lot going on right now with Elliot um, and trying to figure out what's wrong with him and leasing Austin and everything and I know I haven't said anything on YouTube because it's not that easy to sit down in front of a camera and explain everything that's been going on the past month. Um, so I plan on making an explanation video once I get more answers on Elliot, but I don't really want to make a video that is totally open-ended to questions that I can't answer because that's what I'm facing on my Instagram right now. People are asking me, do you know what's wrong with Elliot? And I say no, and people are like, well, when are you going to know? I don't have a crystal ball. I can't, I can't answer these questions. So, so for right now, I'm just going to dive into this tack haul, and I will explain things to you guys later, but I know a lot of you do follow me on Instagram, so you kind of have an idea what's going on, um, but I really appreciate your patience and understanding through this. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you might have seen my past video or videos, I'm not sure how many I've recorded, on the TAC exchange or the equestrian exchange TAC hauls. So where I live, usually it's once a year. This year they did it twice. Um, they have what's called an equestrian exchange, and everybody brings all their stuff they're trying to sell, and like they take 25% of it. I've got a bunch of stuff there right now. I really need to sell my saddles, but they probably won't sell. Um, Anyways, I, because I'm a consigner, I got in the first day on like early shopping, so I was able to score some pretty cool things that I'm really excited about. Now, because all of these items did have tags that like they would scan and then go through to the seller so like they could tell the seller what has sold and all that, I don't have any tags on these, so I don't remember exactly what I paid for everything, um, but I do know that I'm very cheap, so if it was not very cheap, I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> um, so yeah. So let's start off with my biggest, like, score, I guess, are these back on track tendon boots. I've been wanting to try these because Elliot had a tendon injury back in October, and I just want to make sure he's as comfortable as possible. Um, I've only used them once, and that was, I pulled him out of his stall, and I put him back in his stall. <laughs> I just wanted to see if they fit. They were on him for like 10 minutes, but it did, I felt his tendons kind of warm up. So I'm interested to see how it'll work when I put them on them, put them on him, and then go lunge him or something, and see if it makes him any more comfortable. Um, and then I did notice on Austin, my lease horse, um, he got a little bit stocked up because they were in from the rain last night, and I put them on him, and it did help with the swelling a little bit. So that was pretty cool. <sighs> and then speaking of Austin, when I got him, he had pulled a shoe and like ripped pretty much all of his shoe off, all of his hoof off. Excuse me. Um, anyway, so we let it grow out a little bit, and then we put shoes on, and then he pulled them both off again. So I'm going to let him go barefoot for a little while, but he's very, very, very sensitive when he's barefoot. And the boots that I had for Elliot don't fit him, and they rub really bad, so I just didn't want to cause more issues by making him wear them. So my farrier actually measured him for these Renegade boots, and they retail for like $200 a pair. Um, and she said if he got to the point where he really needed them, then we could order them. And I wasn't honestly even looking for them at the exchange, and I totally just, like, by accident found them. I actually was in line, and I saw them, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and they were his size, and it was all good. Um, but the cool thing about these is the back moves. They look like they look like a hockey helmet to me. Um, so the back actually moves with the foot, so it prevents rubbing. And it's really cool. So you have to get your horse's size, but um, every piece of this is replaceable. So if they ruin a certain part of it, you can replace the piece instead of the entire boot. So I put them, I pulled him out of his stall last night, and he was like dead lame on the concrete, just like super, super sore. I put these on, walking him back to his stall, he was 100% sound. It was really cool, because I was a little on the fence about spending this much. Um, they were like, I know these were like $100, but I'm hoping once he gets through this little phase that I can resell them. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a cool investment. So this also has to do with Elliot's current issues. Um, I'm hoping this won't like fuel too many questions. Um, but this is a grazing muzzle. I don't really know how he's going to react to it, so I didn't get like a super nice one. This one I'm pretty sure was like five bucks. Um, but it just straps onto his halter. Um, we are managing him. It's called the best friend grazing muzzle. I just saw that on the bottom. Um, we are managing him for PSSM, which is essentially equine diabetes. So he can't have too much grass. So he is on a small uh, turnout lot. But it does have grass, 
So I'm going to see how he does with this and go from there. Also, for my pansy of a horse, I got these, they're all tied together, um, fly boots somewhere will make sense. That kind of makes sense. Uh, they are Cashel brand, which I love. Um, these were $3. I know that because I was like, what the heck? Like, this set of four was $3. Um, I pretty much already know that he's going to take them off, but I figured for $3 they're good to have around. And then um, Foxy, because he has white legs, gets the fly bites on his legs really bad. So I figured if Ellie doesn't wear them, then Foxy can wear them. For three bucks, it's worth it. And then I also got a pair of, this is really extra of me, and I kind of hate myself for it, but it's fine. Um, this one came out of the bag, but a pair of, or set rather, of navy polos. And I literally got these because my navy ones, they're kind of older and they're like pilling a little bit. But my trainer's favorite color is navy, and so like all the water buckets that everybody's standing wraps, everybody's halters, everybody's polo wraps. She's like sets on sets of polo wraps in navy. And I was like, okay, well, I got to fit in here. <laughs> so um, I wanted to up my game and get a new pair of navy polo wraps. And also my navy ones are so dark and these ones are going to match my polos from hopeful, like my um, Captain America, Superman, all my like design or patch polos from hopeful equestrian better. So I'm excited about these. I'm going to sell my old set and uh, refund what I spent on these, so. And then speaking of polos, oh, Nemo just laid on it. Nemo love. So I found this. This was not together as a set, and they don't match perfectly, but, like, it's fine. Um, so this, I don't even know if you can see the right color on the camera, but it's like a tan-ish. And these are Centaur brands, the polos, um, to go with it. They're not the exact same color, but I figured, like, this will be on his body, these will be on his legs, like you really can't tell. Um, but it has navy and goldish tan trim all over it. Um, it's nice, it's like cushiony, it's it's not like your basic all-purpose one from Dover. Um, these are cut off, but like I never use those honestly, I always just use this one down here, um, so I don't mind. And this is all wet, probably from the boots that I rinsed off, that's disgusting. Um, so yeah, I don't remember how much those are, but this color says ice green how they came up with that i don't know because it's really not a green but it's fine last but not least um i got to go of course along with my trainer's navy obsession i got navy standing wraps this is i i have an obsession as you may know with matching things and like being color coordinated so i got i didn't like so Elliot's name halter is green because when I got him, I thought the only color that would go with him is green. And I really don't like green. So for shows, I got him a leather halter with a navy lead um, so we can fit in with my trainer's crew. And then we'll have these navy stand wraps. And it came with like this free like half roll of vet wrap. I don't really know why, but I'll take it. Um, so these I think were like $4. So I scored those. <sighs> it's getting hot out here. Um, anyway, so that's what I got, and Monday, I think we're going back, um, this time I went with Landry, I'll put her username right here, and Lauren, I will put her username also here, um, we went together, and on Monday, I think we're going back with Lauren and Callie, which I'll put her username here, um, all oh, those are Instagram usernames, by the way, not YouTube, um, Anyways, I think we're going back together because Monday is the day where, like, people, if they really want to get rid of stuff, they'll mark it half off, and so that's a cool day to find deals. And plus, at that point, like, that's the last day of the sale, so pretty much everything's picked through at that point, and you can find stuff like bottom of the barrel, stuff like that. So, that is my Equestrian Exchange haul number two for this year, I think. Um, if I get anything else Monday, I might make another one. Um... But right now, yeah, we're still trying to find answers on Elliot, but I'll make an update video soon. Um, and that'll include what I'm talking about when I say I'm leasing Austin, because I don't know if I've said anything about that on YouTube. Um, and, yeah, so I'll see what other videos I can throw up there in the meantime. But thank you guys again for being patient and being so supportive through all this. I hope you like this totally random tack haul. <laughs>